and here we go! Hello guys! I'm so excited! This is my first individual video on the Book Monsters 11. I really hope this audio isn't as echoey as I think it's going to be. My hair is just all kinds of crazy today. I am doing a bookshelf scavenger hunt. I am very excited. Unfortunately, I'm not filming this in front of my bookshelf because my bookshelf has terrible lighting. I wasn't planning to become a booktuber when I set up my bookshelf. So if you guys don't know what a bookshelf scavenger hunt is, basically there's a bunch of books, types of books you have to find. I will link where I got these down in the description, but you basically have to find books that match the description. First book is author name or book title with the letter Z. Witch and Wizard by James Patterson. Look, there is a Z right there. A classic. Charlotte's Web by E.B. White. A book with a key on the cover. I watched Tiernan's video and this was really hard for him to find. I still don't think he found one, but I did and I was happy. Incarceran by Katherine Fisher. Find something on your bookshelf that is not a book. I have a little basket that I keep my bookmarks in, but I thought that this would be more fun. I have a bunch of pamphlets. This is from Barnes & Noble and it's called An Abundance of John Green and I thought it was really awesome. So I got it even though I literally have every book that's sampled in here. This one is from Comic-Con. It is the sampler for Passenger, Alexander Bracken, the author of The Darkest Minds. New book, it's about time travel and I'm so excited and my friends got it for me at Comic-Con and look it's signed! The pamphlet for four that I got when I got Legion signed at the Festival of Books two years ago and it is also signed by Veronica Raw. And the last one is the sampler for the Library of Souls by Ransom Riggs that I got for free at Barnes & Noble. Find a book with a girl on the cover. Gee, that's a tough one. The Star Won't Go Out by Esther Earle, and I really, really love this book, but that is the author, Esther. Find a book with an animal on the cover. A Mango Shaped Space by Wendy Mass. Her books are so unbelievably good. Oh, I skipped one. The oldest book in my bookshelf is probably A Tale of Two Cities by Charles Dickens. I had to read this for school and a lot of people hated it. I actually really liked it. Male protagonist, Harry Potter, any of the Harry Potter books, this is just the Chamber of Secrets, but any of the Harry Potter books. A book with only words on the cover, and this was the closest I came to Romeo and Juliet. It's pink and it's got designs on it, but every book I had had a cover. This was the closest I came. This will have to do. A book with illustrations I have, Quite a few. This is actually the sequel in the series. I talked about this in our summer book haul, Off the Page by Jodie Picoult and Samantha Van Leer. It's got fairy tale illustrations like this one. There's also these little silhouettes that they have in the beginning of the chapters. Find a book with gold lettering. The Blood of Olympus by Rick Riordan. Riordan, Riordan. I used to say Riordan, now I say Riordan. I don't know what's right anymore, but that's what I say. I don't know if this counts as a diary. I think it does. Never Cry Wolf by Farley Moa. It's like accounts of his experiences. An author with a common name, there were quite a few. I picked Stephanie Perkins because not that like Stephanie Perkins together is a very common name because I don't think it is, but I feel like Stephanie is a common name and Perkins is a common last name. So a close up on the cover, I'm gonna go with the same thing that the booktuber said, delirium. A book that takes place in the earliest time period. So I'm trying not to reuse any of my books. I feel like it probably would be A Tale of Two Cities, but I actually have no idea and I'm too lazy to look up which one's actually older because I don't know when Sherlock Holmes is set but I picked Sherlock Holmes. The Hound of Baskerville. A hardcover with no jacket. This was the one that I picked. I love these Barnes & Noble collector's edition, whatever you call them. Peter Pan by J.M. Barry. A teal book, Wonder by R.J. Palacio. I hope I said that right. A book with stars on the cover. Every Soul a Star by Wendy Mass also. This is the same author who wrote A Mango Shaped Space. And this was a really good book too. And look, it's, there's titles made of stars. There's a star right here. There's stars in the background. 
A non-YA book, Fahrenheit 451 by Ray Bradbury. The longest book on my shelf, I think. Douglas Adams, um, Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. This has the entire series in it. The shortest book I have, Of Mice and Men, Of Mice and Men by John Steinbeck. This is the shortest one I think I have. It's like 107 pages. A book told in multiple perspectives, Allegiant by Veronica Roth. So if you know how it ends, you know why it's told in both perspectives. <sighs> it's okay, Veronica, I forgive you. A book with a shiny cover would be this one. The deluxe edition of The City of Ember by Jean or Jean. I'm pretty sure it's Jean though, because I don't know if Jean is a name. De Pro, de pro. I should probably have looked these up. A book with flowers on the cover. Surprisingly, that was harder than I thought. I love the happily ever after because it's got a rose right there and a rose right there. So it's got two flowers on it. I think that that counts for something. Left with the books I had left in my shelf. I did not take any from the pile. No, actually, that's not true. I did. Well, actually, I had two copies, so technically, I didn't. The 25th question challenge thing I added because it was only 24 and it was bugging me. So I'm doing the see how far you can get in the alphabet with titles. A, An Abundance of Catherines by John Green. B, The Book Thief by Marcus Zuzak. C, Cross by Ali Condi. D, the Darkest Minds by Alexander Bracken. E. Eclipse. I don't have the book jacket right now. I don't know what I did with it, but Eclipse by Stephanie Meyer. The F. Firefish by Davy Lau. <laughs> Awkward moment when you can't remember what letter comes next. Oh, that did leave a mark. This is from hitting my neck on the table when I picked up a book. The F. G. Glorious Appearing End of Days by Tim LaHaye and Jerry B. Jenkins. H. Hollow City by Ransom Riggs. I. The Indwelling, subtitle The Beast Takes Possession. Also by Tim LaHaye and Jerry B. Jenkins. And J. I had to cheat a little bit. Romeo and Juliet. Shakespeare. And I couldn't find one that had any part of the title starting with K. So. That's the end. Give this video a thumbs up if you want to see more videos like this. Bookshelf tags and book challenges and things like that. Comment down below what video you would like to see me do next. Uh, stay tuned for Sav's first individual video on Friday. Very exciting. And Sav, I will see you later. It's hardcover with no book job. I, there's no one knocking. I was drumming my fingers on the book. There's no one at the door. Calm down, please. No! I'm filming! I will see you later. It's very fun doing individual...